The asteroid spider, though not a true spider, resembles one with ten evenly spaced legs ending in small hooks. Its globular body is topped with sensory organs on stalks, including eyes and other unknown structures. The carapace is black, rendering it nearly invisible in wild space. The hard-shelled top contrasts with the soft underside housing the mouth with a syringe-like tooth and suction cup-like lips, along with the web-spinning organ. Asteroid spiders inhabit asteroid belts and space junk areas, establishing colonies on larger asteroids with sufficient air. They weave miles-long black webs strong enough to ensnare ships under 15 tons. Females lay hundreds of eggs, leading to a survival race between hatchlings and adults. Adults attempt to catch and eat hatchlings, while the latter race into space. Some hatchlings form colonies on other asteroids or space junk. Adult asteroid spiders fiercely defend their territory, attacking intruders. These spiders prize the air within captured ships, spinning large cocoon webs within the ship's airspace. The cocoon is carried to the lair, inflated and deflated repeatedly until the ship retains only a thin bubble of air. The asteroid spider, nearly invisible in wild space, attacks those disturbing its web using six of its legs. If three or more legs hit a target, it grabs onto them, allowing for additional attacks or a potential paralyzing bite from its syringe-like mandible. Paralyzed victims are wrapped in webbing and taken to the spider's lair. When not biting, the spider protects its vulnerable underbelly. But when rearing up to bite, it exposes itself to attacks. Thank you for tuning in to this video. We trust you found the Spelljammer bestiary lore both entertaining and informative. Your feedback is invaluable to us, so please take a moment to share your thoughts on areas where we can enhance our content. Additionally, if you appreciate our efforts, consider supporting us through donations. Your patronage is greatly appreciated. Thank you, and we look forward to welcoming you back soon for another Spelljammer Bestiary Lore installment.